What's up everybody? Back again for another video. I just posted one. I was up in town getting the uh, vehicle repaired, doing a bunch of maintenance before winter hits. Anyways, FedEx guy of course knows me a mile away. He saw me walking down uh, on the sidewalk. Flagged me down. He flagged me down. Here's my Starlink. This is the uh, pipe adapter. We're going to go ahead and open it up, do an impromptu unboxing. Let's open it up really yeah. quick while they uh, pull my vehicle out. There's my vehicle. Uh, let's see what's in here. There it is. Nice and girthy. You can see where the stopper is down there. So that doesn't go all the way through. It stops. That's what that is. You got uh, well, multiple one, two, three spots for the bolts. Here's the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. What else is in here? I think this is some kind of carrier. I've seen it in other videos uh, to lug it up the, the lug it up there. I guess I don't know for stowing it or something. I'm not sure. I'll take a look at the instructions. Yeah, I was reading the instructions. That's a dish carrier to take it up on the roof. I already have it. It's already up on the roof. In the box here, you got, this is what I really needed before, which is great because I have not installed the wires yet permanently. They're just hanging off the side. You'll see it later on or in the next video, but you got a bunch of these connectors. Good, I didn't have to buy any. A lot of them. Oh boy, that's a, oh boy, that's quite a few. Okay, that's cool. This is the instructions. That is it. Yeah, that's simple. Righty, folks, back at the uh, house. All you need, for, I'm gonna go ahead and install this. My wife is home, so I was kind of worried. I have disability, so I'm always worried about falling. But my wife is home. I was gonna wait till my son, he doesn't get off work till three. I just need her to, you know, put her foot on the base of the ladder. Makes me feel much better. But yeah, it is time for the, hopefully going up to the roof for the last time. Of course, you guys all know that while I was up in town, the adapter pipe showed up. This is the only tool you need. 7 16 set up here. So I'm go ahead and do is uh, go ahead and install these bolts while we're down on the ground. So less fiddling around on the roof. So you don't even need the, the tool, just hand. Start it with your hands, that's all. So we're ready to go, take it up top. I am gonna grab a, uh, a knife. I, I duct taped the crap out of that, which is um, I'm glad I did because we had a uh, lightning and rain and wind come in yesterday. So I kept it up there, didn't slide, never moved. Hey, I got a backpack for safety. Got everything in there ready to go. So I hopefully only have to go up once and not come down until it's all done. Uh, so first thing I do is take all the duct tape off. But one thing you gotta do, make sure you don't move that around because it is electronic without putting it in stow mode. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Starlink account, click stow. I can't show it right now in the video because I'm using my phone. About 20 seconds, it's in stow mode. Now I can move it around without damaging anything. So make sure you do that. Just don't grab it and move it around. Beautiful day compared to yesterday. If you uh, check out my previous video, it was gloomy. We needed the rain though. You can see uh, it's cut down on the wildfire and the smoke. This is what it looks like up here. And there it is. That's where I want to, uh, excuse my heavy breathing. I'm out of shape and I got breathing issues, medical issues. This is where I want to add it to. That's the old DirecTV. That's my current dish. This is Usenet. I want it higher because of snow. It won't touch the bottom of that. And it's just, it's just better, it's sturdier. I sprayed the other day. Oh no, there's a yellow jacket in there. Nervous folks, I'm hoping the adapter is a little bigger than that. It's gonna be close, I haven't measured it. Let's go ahead and get rid of the yellow jackets. Bye-bye. Outside diameter on this old Usenet base is two and uh, three eighths. Two and three eighths. Fingers crossed, folks. Huh? Please, please, please. Yes, that's it. You can see how tall that is. Once I get the base on there, I am stoked. I am so happy. Oh, and there's not a lot of wiggle room. 
wiggle it just a little bit. Okay, we are bottomed out, you can see there. Yeah. All right, be right back. I can't do this one-handed. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down these bolts. If you notice, there's two bolts missing. This is what I found out. The tolerances are so close. Uh, I didn't have a lot of room to start the uh, bolts. They're pretty much kind of a uh, rocket tipped. Uh, they're supposed to bite the metal. This would have actually would have helped better if this was a little smaller. Then or I would have I would have had room to tighten all six bolts down. But the tolerances are so small that I could only if I worked started these two. I couldn't even get this started. I, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I actually uh, destroying the threading. And let me show you. But it's not going anywhere. You can see there. And do not crank these down. These are not the best made bolts. And I think if I torqued it any more, tightened it any more, they'd snap. And I've seen it in other YouTuber videos of these bolts snapping. What I'll do is I'll probably take one of the two that's in the bag and go buy some better quality bolts. And before winter hits, I'll replace these. Yeah, this is not going anywhere. That took some time. Yeah, that rain was not going to impact that duct tape. I duct taped the crap out of it. Uh, just for, uh, even though I'm not using this, uh, other people might be reusing their, uh, this is an old direct TV mount. What is it? One and... Uh, a little over seven eighths you can see there my math is off that's what it looks like right there if you can read that just got to take all this uh duct tape off and we'll be good to go well there it is folks it's on hopefully it stays i just got a cable managed i brought up some black zip ties i'll just go down the side here but god i hope this Oh, I'm nervous that just this little this quick disconnect is holding everything on. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, cable tie that really quick. Or zip tie it and then turn it on. I got it zip tied. Just waiting for it to talk. It should start moving here shortly. Don't be in a rush that it's not moving immediately. There you go. Took 30, roughly 30 seconds. It's calibrating. Ain't she pretty? That is it. By the time I get down, put everything away, it should already be recalibrated. Oh, I'm so excited. This is not moving anywhere. Even though it's four bolts. I'm more worried about the only thing that's connecting this and this, or holding it, is the quick quick disconnects and there's a little bit of play there if you can see that but I guess uh, they know what they're doing uh, this ain't moving anywhere I zip tied oh it's moving it's calibrating there you go oops there you go that's the same position it was when it was uh, down there I did zip tie this because I didn't want this device here, whatever this is, flopping, you know, in the breeze and maybe it eroding or degrading. So I had that zip tied away from the bolts. I don't want anything rubbing. So if I followed the line here, it would have been touching the bolts and maybe the wind. We get 60 mile an hour plus winds here. So there you go. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and head down before I hurt myself. You can see it's much higher. It's further away from the dish. I don't know if there's any any issues with them uh, fighting with each other frequency. I don't know, know nothing about that stuff. Righty folks, it's cooled down enough. It was hot as heck. Now it's time new. I'm not gonna film this whole thing, but you can see what I gotta do. This is the old wiring. I gotta go ahead and backtrack and pull this without actually ripping out the cables that I'm still using so I can make room for the hole and then unplug the Ethernet or the PoE and run that underneath the house in the crawl space so 
this will take a little bit of time. I'm not going to videotape it. Well, folks, we are done. Finally wrapping up the Starlink install. There it is. I was messing around. Anytime I mess with it or with any of the cables, I put it in stow mode. That's, you can see, it's vertical. It's not pointed. The dish is not pointed up at the sky. It's hard to tell at this angle, but we are done. Cable management. Look at that. I even uh, I raised it up even the uh, dish, the dish network uh, cables, because every once in a while I'd hit it with the weed whacker, and so I, I purposely wanted it further up like that. Well, hopefully you find this video interesting. Don't forget to hit that like button. There'll be more. Uh, Starlink content down the road the ups or maybe the downs so make sure you hit that subscribe button small channels do matter I just routed the cable just like uh, the cable guys had it along alongside the uh, door frame a couple more years I'm gonna replace the siding anyways that is it folks you guys have a good day bye bye